Well, my name's Paul Martinez. Uh, I was born in Townsville. I spent most of my life in Townsville, except for some education and the university in Brisbane, a couple of years overseas. But apart from that, I'm a Townsville boy. And uh, I've been a lawyer for, admitted, for 44 years, I think. Almost to the day, I think. Uh, but close enough. And all my law, except for a couple of years in the UK, has been in Townsville, or North Queensland anyway, but operating out of our firm here, which is Wilson Ryan and Gross. And they've been around since 1895. Well, I'm not going to quite compare the Mona Lisa, which I saw in the Louvre in 1971, with the Allen painting, Townsville 1884. But I am going to say that after the Allen was acquired and Perstucker arranged for the museum to fix it up, it was the ugly duckling turned into a swan, and to that extent, um, the experiences were similar. Um, they were quite magical, um, how the museum was able to drag away 100, 100 years of stuff with, on a place that, yes, yeah, sorry, on a painting which had been uh, stored in somebody's shed for Lord only knows how long. It, it was quite remarkable. I think it's a, a marvellous painting historically in its own right, but to see its conversion was uh, uh, quite fantastic. I bought a number of paintings by Kath Mahari um, over the years, probably spanning a long number of decades. Uh, the first one I bought was called Pioneer Reflections, I remember, and my own family history on my father's side was that of, uh, um, he arrived in this country when he was three years old. Um, Spanish parents but they'd come from Argentina where he had been born and they lived in a in a little house that my grandfather had chopped out of the out of the forest in Silkwood up in the north and uh, I didn't know my grandmother really well at all and I'm very sorry about that but this pioneer reflections was very much had a, a haunting incisiveness about it of the people who really put their heart and soul into this country and and could think about it now only as a dim memory and uh, you know that was the first one I bought of hers I, I bought one other um, because I think she's a fabulous local North Queensland artist and the other painting which I quite treasure is a, an Aboriginal bark painting from the Northern Territory up in the Arafura Swamp. It uh, doesn't tell any of those dreamtime ones that are so attractive with their uh, um, dreamtime images and black and white and telling um, Dreamtime tales. This is <laughs> what they do now. Uh, uh, it's big painting, uh, bark painting, and it simply shows all these goose eggs or duck eggs that are collected over a period of weeks. Uh, when they're obviously laying and they go out in these canoes and they raid the eggs, raid the nests, put the eggs in the canoes, go back, they build these little humpy arrangements in the middle of the swamp 
and the painting shows uh, a nighttime, daytime colouring, and it's something that they do even now. That particular painting is especially nice for me because uh, photos were taken as it was being done. It'd been cut off the tree, uh, being flattened out, and then the really thoughtful going over and, and lines which are being done. And so that of itself is almost as much a treasure as the painting, uh, so it seemed. But uh, they're, they're probably my favourites. That's the right word to use. Didn't really choose it, it chose me. Um, it's not often that anyone can say that they've got more money than the council. Um, but what happened was, and I don't know how I got picked, I just it was probably one of those lucky unlucky things, but uh, it was towards the end of a financial year. And for some reason I had some money, uh, which is pretty unusual for me. And the gallery at the time had been approached to buy the alum uh, on behalf of the council. It wasn't being offered privately, it was being offered to the council at what was thought to be a very keen price. It still wasn't cheap. And the council didn't have enough dough to buy it. Um, and so I chipped in and um, and that was that and we, as I say it was in a pretty poor way at the time but it's uh, it's uh, intrinsic worth and it's hidden majesty was there to be seen I just didn't realize it was going to come up as well as it did so that's how that particular painting, which is called Townsville 1864, I think, uh, came into being. I particularly like the painting because in the front of it, there's a fellow standing there looking back towards Castle Hill. And I like to think of him as being Townsville's first solicitor, who was a bloke called Norris. And he was quietly contemplating where it would all end up. It's a great painting because when I first saw it, I thought he'd been taking a fair amount of poetic license and Castle Hill didn't really look like that. Because I was brought up in Mr. Den Estate and saw it from a completely different angle. Uh, since then, I lived in Palaranda, New North Ward, and you get a different angle, but you don't get the angle that that particular painting is taken from. And you've really got to go to South Townsville. Um, the Metropole Pub, I think, is a good place to go to have a look at it uh, from. And you'll see a completely different style of Castle Hill that I don't think most people see. Uh, and he's slightly exaggerated it, but uh, he brought it home for me. And it's a great painting. It's uh, got all the Ben's Philip, Philip wharves uh, there and all the shipping that was the lifeblood of Townsville at the time, lifeline. So uh, that was special for me. Well, I think I'm best described as a camp follower or a fringe dweller um, because I have no training, I've no formal appreciation. Um, I suppose it's a bit like uh, drinking beers and wines and those sort of things. Um, your taste is tailored by all sorts of things. You get a general idea 
you know what you like, you like what you know, um, but it doesn't have a proper foundation as uh, the curators have got. I can analyse it down and that's fantastic, but uh, I can't do that. And uh, when I try, I fail. So uh, I enjoy just being a camp dweller, uh, yeah, camp follower, <laughs> and a uh, sometimes dweller. <laughs>